and the mentality that we are bigger than someone. If you are too big to serve, you are too small to lead. That's why life is all about submission. Some people are complaining, they are using me, they are using me. You are complaining, they are using you. Don't you know it is better to be used than to be useless? Ladies and gentlemen, when the big daddy in the house and all come and see, everybody started talking, not so how long, at the shabby contextual over to me. At the shabby contextual over to me. No, 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 no,
one in Christianity, the only one was the originality. There are so fake, we have so fake, so many fake leaders. To buy the prophet to the pastor, she could leave her. Papa could never be. If you are too big to prostrate for your fathers, then you are too small to lead your followers. You look at the Bible in the book of Moschee, chapter 2, verse 17. He said, treat everyone with high regard. Love the brotherhood of believers. Fear God. Then honor the king. Two G's are important in this world. God and government. After God is government. So when you are too proud to honor those two G's, then you can never have four G in your life. The four G that will make you great in life. God. Grace. Government. And the last one is what? Glory. Now we are talking about the king that we are celebrating today. There is no way we talk about the king we are celebrating and we are not talking about Jesus. And when I was studying the topic that was given to me, I realized this. That Jesus came as the unifying agent in Christianity and in the world. Because Jesus happened to be the only gift that was given to the world. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. Somebody under the sound of my voice because we are going to meet next year. By this time next year, you will have greater glory. Jesus came as a changer in the manger. When Jesus came, the manger was ordinary. He came and the mother was trying to have a place to have the baby. And the man said there was no place for them to have the baby. Why? Because God was able to hide the glory from the man taking care of the manger. No wonder.
your daddy. Daddy asked me, Kilamashi, what are we going to buy? What are we going to do? Because the mentality of many of us is anytime you go to a prophet, you must give money. That is spiritual malady. That is foolishness. I said that. Let us preach love. 
Because for God so loved the world, and He gave us His only begotten Son. He gave us His only begotten Son because we were not forgotten. Love is what we unify Nigeria. If we love, we are not going to hate each other. If we love, Muslims will not hate Christians. Christians will not hate Muslims. If we love, there will be joy and peace. Because Jesus happens to be the major assignment in the castle of Trinity. The place of the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I want to let you know this before I take along the way. Finally. Praying all the time for your life to be like the, of Jesus. Your life must profit some direction. And your life must be a profit. Number one, your life must profit God. Number two, your life must profit yourself. Number three, your life must profit your generation. If the life of Jesus hasn't been profitable, all of us will not be here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go find life, you need to know how far. And you will know how far through challenges of life. Challenges will make you know yourself, know people, and know God. Till I come your way some other time, just make your life a blessing to someone. Thank you, sir.
Is anybody here that wants to give it to a to crash? Come out. Come out. Get up. Don't do that. Don't do that for me. Don't do that for me. Come out. Come out. You want to give a to crash? You want to give a to crash? Oh my God. Come out. 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 I see you when I say you with your testimony. 